Good morning people. It is early as hell. Oh, it's currently there you can see there. Five in the friggin' morning. And we're heading to the gym. And uh, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. So if you don't know, um, I've managed to find a 24-hour gym, which is right next to there? Coffee. So I'm gonna go in here and find out. Thought it'd be uh, empty in here, but it's actually one or two people in here. At five in the morning. wait for my normal because it's mornings don't normally do morning so I need to get my body used to it so it's not too bad getting up a bit of a sweat actually so now we're uh, upstairs uh, cardio machines are over there so we're gonna do some hit training 20 minutes and then see how we get on <laughs> Hit training done. Jesus Christ, and it's now. Just gone quarter past six. And we're all done. It's not too bad. Oh. We are showered and changed, ready for work. Uh, probably leaving about half an hour, uh, which would be fine. Just cooking up a uh, dog's breakfast, which is chicken. Yes, that's right. So. In the previous video where you saw all that muscle food chicken, it's not all for me, dogs eat the chicken as well. Yeah, leave the comments below, I know I'm going to get some anyway. Uh, hope you like the intro, just managed to do that um, yesterday, and uh, Goody Beach sent me the last bit at the end, which I much appreciated. Obviously, I haven't really promoted it at the moment in my videos, but as you can probably tell uh, with my Instagram and Snapchat, I'm an ambassador, you can use my link, um, what, discount code, which is Lee, L-E-E-10, gives you 10% off. Uh, probably best is run out of a lot of products at the moment, is wait for the next third launch, which is gonna have some awesome stuff in it. Especially if you're in Europe and it's shitty weather, you're gonna be liking this one as well. So, we're gonna do some breakfast for me as well. Uh, just quickly show you what I've got. We're going to take some nuts into work, 30 grams, which are roasted hazelnut. Got obviously the old bad boy of the vitamin tablets. My snack, Quest bars. Um, actually on the last pack of these grenades, um, that's my last pack. I am switching over to these, which is the Arnold ones. Uh, there we go, focus up. Um, you'll probably see an overlay of this actually, um, so that's not too bad. And we've got protein, which we're going to have probably one serving, which is the grenade, Hydra 6, which will be flavour. I uh, thought I'd switch it up actually. Again, there'll be a, an overlay of that one. Right, let's move on to what I'm going to be having for lunch. 
so we've switched cameras now over to this uh, small portable one um, I've decided to have some breakfast uh, breakfast cereal as well I need some carbs um, might as well start the day so thumbnail right there <laughs> we're gonna be having 50 grams of shreddies uh, and that's a hundred grams or hundred mils of semi skin milk so that's what uh, we're gonna have that uh, we're still gonna have the steak as well uh, and that's it see you on the next one right so I thought I'd just quickly sit down for a couple of minutes and just give you some explanation probably some of you are wondering what the hell's going on um, with the uh, True Beast Becoming a Beast uh, program uh, and everything else, basically. Um, they were, had a bit of an issue, uh, not with the program. Uh, the program was fine, but it was obviously, it was probably about three, three weeks ago, probably a bit longer, uh, when we moved from phase one to phase two. So phase one was push-pull legs, repeat, day off. Um, but I knew guaranteed going into it I could get a minimum of three workouts. So that was fine, hit all body parts. Um, actually managed two rounds within the week, uh, which was good. Um, and then we moved on to phase two, which was the individual, like a bro split, like chest one day, back, legs, arms, shoulders, etc, etc. So that consisted of five days. Um, the only issue I had with that was if I only worked out three days that week, I didn't hit all body parts um, and that started causing a bit of an issue um, and then we had Easter um, I went home to Wales didn't train when I was in Wales uh, probably my fault which basically ended up being four was it four? Thursday, Friday, so, no it ended up being five days not working out um, did alright with the food but when you were family um, my lot like to drink have a good time they're not alcoholics, but they like to have a good time. <laughs> so coupled with that, uh, it got a bit shitty. Weight-wise, shot up, which was expected. To be honest, I got a bit down in the dumps with it. Spoke to a couple of people, um, said what to do. Um, and this obviously 24-hour gym, which you just saw, was opening. So I knew there was something there. So what, in the meantime, what I did, I went back to the push-pull leg um, training which has been effective because I know what I can get in. Now, fast forward a couple of weeks now, uh, the gym's open, which is brilliant. You've just seen the first workout this morning at 5 a.m., which was ridiculous. Obviously it's day one, guys. If I keep this up, we'll be immense. Um, so yeah, we're gonna carry on this week with push-pull legs. See how I get on with the morning workouts and how effective that is. Still going to be doing hit training after every session. My dog's just rolling around. Yes. You. Anyway, um, we're going to do that and then potentially go back to the bro split, which will be you know one body part per day because I'll be doing five days guaranteed. This is also freeing up my time uh, with the wife. Uh, family time with everyone basically because I can work out in the mornings um, There was a bit of an issue that you know I had a few people say to me you're not gonna get up Lee You're not a morning person and hands up I'm not a morning person fucking hey. I love my lions. I'm a night person, but You gotta do what you gotta do um, So uh, I've got to sacrifice my lions to work out, but it means I get my evenings and I end up training fasted which hopefully might benefit me um, it did many years ago. I don't like people saying, oh, I used to do this years ago, it worked for me. The thing is, your body's changed over them years, times have changed. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, I always do evening workouts. Um, seems all right, I had a lot of strength, but now we're doing morning. We're gonna see how we get on, hopefully. Um, the program is gonna extend a bit longer, um, I think. Knowing my body type last year, I actually trained with Dan Hardin as my coach. Some of you might have known that. Um, and we realized with my body composition and how my body held on to my weight, my water and everything, it took, we did a 12 week program, it took week seven before my body decided to give up and then start dropping the weight and start cutting. 
and that was only on week seven, so that only gave us five weeks to obviously get where we wanted to get. So it was a great insight. He learned a lot, I learned a lot about my body, and we worked out we needed a longer time scale, basically. But it was a great thing. The training was on point, the, car uh, the cardio, the nutrition was on point back then, so it was fantastic. So we're gonna extend it. Uh, I'm gonna move it on to my 37th birthday, which is actually June the 13th. Um, so that's going to probably extend it from a 12-week program to a another six, 18-week program, um, which will be fine, not a problem. Um, I go a holiday first week in May, uh, which should be fun. And then as soon as I come back, literally, I come back on the Wednesday, and then that Friday I'm at Body Power all day, meeting everyone. Um, God knows what I look like, especially after a holiday away. So anyway, that's where I am currently. Enough rambling on. Um, we shall get to it and show you what I'm gonna be eating on the next clip. Work's done, time to go home. Now, usual is set up the old um, phone to watch a video, block out my speedo. Need to get some loose change because it's actually, in order to get home, I have to cross a toll bridge and it's five pence which is what, about seven, eight cents to cross this little bridge in a village in order to get home. Because it's the quickest way, it's a back road which is faster than actually going on the dual carriageways. So yeah, 5p, ridiculous. So gonna watch uh, YouTube videos while driving. Yeah, totally illegal, rock on. Ready home, work done, back in the kitchen. Uh, dinner time, this is what we're having. So we're going to be having some, whatever the hell they are, fish, meh, fish, um, got carrots, broccoli, asparagus, god that's hot, and then some, if this focus is in here, I don't know if you saw that, but that stuffed mushrooms, um, so that's what we're going to be having for dinner. And then I think I'm left with a few bit of macros. Ooh. Woo, 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 woo. Don't want that ugly mug zoomed in. Um, yeah, we'll be left over with a few bit of macros, so I'll just tie them up. Uh, probably, I think I can fit in another bowl of cereal, which will be awesome. So, uh, I hope you like this video. Uh, it's a bit of a long one, I do apologize. A um, bit of explaining to do in it, which lasted a bit long. Um, but yeah, hopefully the next one should be a bit shorter, a bit more interesting. So, uh, thanks for staying this long. Don't forget to hit that like button, thumbs up, share, leave a comment as well. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed it. We shall see you on the next one.